everybody, I'm Adriana and welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so excited to be talking to you guys today because this is my first time doing a sit down video in my new apartment. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome, hello. Um, I did the Disney College program in spring 2019 and I am currently doing or starting my senior year at the University of Florida in Gainesville. So that's where I am right now, but uh, there's flies all over my apartment and I don't know how to get rid of them and I've tried everything. Well, not really everything, but I'm over it. So if you know how to get rid of flies, tell me. Anyways, I just saw one pass in front of the camera and I was like, not today. So if you see me swatting, if you see me swatting through the video, that is why. But with applications for the Disney College program coming out in four days now, Four days, I think is what they just said. Um, I figured I might as well do a DCP Q&A for you guys and get, just answer all of your questions. I asked you guys to send in some questions on Instagram and you guys definitely delivered. So hopefully I can get through as much of them as possible today. But yeah, also I'm going to play around with the backgrounds for my video. I haven't exactly found a spot that I like yet. Um, my room doesn't get a lot of light, so I kind of have to rely on a lot of lighting to make things look good I guess so as I figure out my little setting and how I'm gonna do this just bear with me please this is what it is for today though okay let's do this <laughs> all right so looking at your questions the first question I have here says hiya last app process I got the okay I'm gonna not do as many abbreviations for those of you who don't know what these abbreviations stand for but okay she said hi in last application process i got to the phone interview and then was put in nlick or no longer in consideration should i change anything on my application um ugh, ugh, flies i ow. Okay. <laughs> i haven't seen your application so obviously i don't know if something should be changed or any of that but I think my biggest piece of advice for formulating your application and articulating your experience would be just to be just as descriptive as possible like use as many adjectives as many strong verbs as you possibly can to really paint that picture for the recruiters um, who are reading your application and just kind of really give them a full view of what you've done and what you can do um, I also some people have different opinions people have tested it out some people it, it goes all over the place, but I really think that using those strong words and definitely like maybe look at the job descriptions on the Disney career website. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> this is killing me too. Um, and looking at the way they describe the roles on the Disney careers website or the Disney college program website and maybe using some of those words. Some people say that they help. Some people say that they don't. Um, I think it can't hurt, you know, just to kind of use the same lingo. Um, consider you got to phone interview that means that your application was probably really good um, I would definitely just make sure that you're really studying up on yourself and studying up on the types of questions that they ask in the phone interview just so that you can be as prepared as possible to deliver as much information as possible I feel like in the phone interview they're really just trying to figure out who you are and sometimes you are just like the most wonderful person in the world and I don't really know why they don't pick people sometimes but um, I definitely think that just knowing more information and having more information can never hurt so over prepared is best prepared I think that's my best advice for that situation next question is also biggest advice for PI yeah my biggest advice for your PI is over prepared is the best kind of prepared I have my phone interview video on YouTube you can go check it out for my phone interview I actually watched a ton of phone interview YouTube videos and I took all of the questions that I heard from those videos and I wrote out every single question I could possibly be asked about any of the roles that I like desired even roles that I didn't desire and just about the program in general and I wrote them down and I wrote out my answer um, that way I I'm pretty good at being able to like change inflection in my voice and speak from reading something without making it sound like I'm just reading word for word what is on a paper. Um, for some people that might work, that worked for me um, just because I had all of my information ready to go, I was prepared, I knew exactly what I needed to say for any question that I could have been thrown, that could have been thrown at me. Um, that works for some people. That doesn't work for some people. So maybe for you, bullet points might work a little bit better, but I definitely suggest having a computer open with notes in front of you that you can use as a reference when going on your phone interview. That way you could just really just 
steal the show and give them as much information as possible. I feel like during my phone interview, I definitely talked the most. And it was probably a little annoying because I didn't shut up, but I just really wanted to give as much information and detail and experience I had so they could really get to know me because really that's the whole point of the interview. Next one, this is really good. What's the best way to make friends on your Disney College program? Um, the best way to make friends is one, get to know your roommates and two, go to the events and just talk to people. Um, Thank, I, was, I super lucked out. I super lucked out in the roommate department. Like I just had really, really good roommates um, in my room <laughs> is, I should clarify. Um, but, and so I got really lucky there and through my roommates, I met different people and we kind of became friends. Um, but I also met people like the first day. Um, I have a car, so I could have drove to casting. I could have drove certain places by myself. But during that first week, I took the bus with my roommates and I took the bus to places just so I could get to know people. Like the Disney College program is a really different experience because you make friends really fast, <laughs> like really, really fast. And you just kind of forced to get to know each other, you know, because you're all in this, you're all kind of clueless. You're all trying to figure things out, especially that first week, that first week when you arrive on maybe a Monday or a Tuesday. Um, I don't exactly remember when I arrived, um, what day of the week it was, but that time between then and traditions, I think is so crucial to get to know people because you're not allowed in the parks yet. So you're all forced to figure out what you're going to do with your time because you have housing and you're not working yet, you know? So you're literally just, this is just time to chill, unless you're taking classes, of course. But definitely use that time to get to know people, ask people for their phone number, be friends on Facebook. Um, it helps to friend people on Facebook before you even get to the program, but it's definitely not necessary because a lot of the people I messaged before I got on the program, I probably never met once in real life, um, to be honest. So yeah, definitely get to know your roommates and just put yourself in as many situations as you can where you can meet people, um, whether that's the bus, events, just say hi to someone. Everybody, I feel like everyone I met was really nice and especially willing to like get to know people and talk to people, you know? So just try and put on your best extroverted pants possible and get out there. <laughs> I think that's my best advice for that. And now there's two flies. Woo, okay. The next question was, does putting interest in only a few roles lessen your chances of getting accepted? I can honestly say like full confidence that that, I don't wanna say that, hold on. That That is not true, okay, so yes. Putting interest in only a few roles does not lessen your chances of getting accepted. Um, I definitely think that you should only put interest in roles you're actually interested in, just because if you put interest in a role, you're gonna be considered for that role whether you really liked it or you really didn't because to them they see it all the same, you know? So I definitely would only put interest in the roles that you actually want to do because I definitely think that's gonna, that's gonna be a pivotal part of your experience. Um, and also if, I feel like there's a lot of people who only put, who put interest in a lot of roles and then they get a role that they didn't really want but they put interest in it and then they're really bummed and they don't want to do the program anymore and that could potentially be a spot that somebody would have loved um, and you got but you, you only put interest in it just because you want to get into the program you know so I don't know I feel like if you just want to do the Disney College program and you want to do it no matter what role you get then go ahead and put interest in all the roles you know like I, I feel like it can't hurt to do that but i definitely think that if there are specific roles that you really really want make that known and make that known on your application and don't put interest in every role just because because while it can't hurt to do that it will hurt when you're accepted for a role that you don't want i hope that makes sense um i only put interest in like maybe three or four roles just because that's kind of the position i was in and I got accepted for one of my top roles. So obviously everybody's experience and everybody's journey with the program is different, but I definitely wouldn't put interest in roles you're not interested in. Do you recommend taking classes during the program? I don't um, recommend taking classes during the program. I did it myself. Um, I 
thankfully was able to do that. I know that a lot of you don't have that option. Your colleges are going to force you to take classes the whole time. And if you have, if you don't have that option, then you just don't have it. It is possible to take classes while on the program. I will say that I had two friends who were taking classes and doing the program at the same time, and they were able to do that just fine. They like passed their classes and everything, but it definitely wasn't easy. And I like, I, they told me it wasn't easy and it's definitely a challenge to manage your time wisely because you're working anywhere from part-time to full-time well not full-time you're not working full-time but like you know it can vary depending on your role your location and how many hours you pick up and all that good stuff but you're working a lot and then you obviously want to make the most of the experience with all of your friends so I for me I didn't want to take classes the way I was able to not take classes was first off my college didn't require me to also, my scholarships allowed me to take a semester off if I wanted to as long as I came back the following semester. And I had taken summer, um, I had been taking classes every summer semester since I came into college. So I never really had a break. So I was constantly working up to the point that I was able to take that break and it not delay my graduation. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely talk to your guidance counselors and your advisors at your college before you even decide to apply to the program. Um, just because you don't want to get your hopes up and then potentially get in and then not be able to accept your offer. Like that would be really unfortunate, especially because the time span the time span between when you get an offer to when you need to accept that offer and pay is very short so i definitely suggest going to your advisors right now as soon as you get on campus and getting that all straightened out figuring out what's okay and what's not just so that you can apply in full peace knowing that you are set and good to go but i definitely wouldn't suggest taking classes it's not easy and it's not even that it's not easy you know like it's not bad to take a challenge but i just I personally wanted to devote all of my attention to the program and making the most of the experience, you know? Like I had all the time in the world to hang out with my friends and go to work and pick up extra shifts and go to the parks and make YouTube videos, you know? I thought those were really my priorities for this program and I wanted to make sure that I had all the time to do that. Also, I didn't want to slack in my classes and I just didn't want to fall into that trap. So definitely find out what's better for you, but that is what my opinion is on the matter. Should I do the Disney College program or just work in the parks for six months? I live out of state and will be a college grad. So you are able to apply for the Disney College program as a college graduate um, as long as I believe you're only like one year out of the out of college or something like that. There's some specifications. But that's a really good question. I guess that really depends on what your personal situation is. I just feel like there's nothing wrong with doing the Disney College program because you can just do the Disney College program and then either extend or just transfer to part-time or full-time either in the same role or a different role. You can even do a short program and then decide if you want to transfer. Actually, that's what I'm gonna say about that. I would do the DCP. And the reason I say this is because you can work for Disney and I'm I love working for Disney, so don't think this is coming from me, but I know plenty of people who their dream for their whole lives was to work for Walt Disney World, and then they work for Walt Disney World and they actually hate it. So you don't want to commit yourself to a contract with a company having to work all this time or like fulfill your contract if you end up hating it. So the DCP is a perfect opportunity to work for like three or four months. That's how long my program was. Figure out if you like it, and if you do, you can extend or transfer to part-time or full-time. So I would do the DCP just because it's very easy to get a feel for what you like and what you don't like um, without the huge commitment of making a whole move and committing to a contract to like a full term of like employment or whatever. So definitely I think the DCP is your best option actually after thinking about this a bit. I think that's your best option. Is it hard for freshmen to get in? I want children's activities because I'm an elementary education major. Um, I love children's activities, obviously, so hey hey. But I don't I wouldn't say it's hard for freshmen to get in. Um, I wouldn't say it's hard for any particular year, like person, no matter what year in college they are to get in. Um I would advise, okay, so I would not advise doing the Disney College program during your freshman year. I think if you're gonna do the Disney College program, it'd probably be best anytime after your freshman year, maybe like freshman, I mean, sophomore, junior year, just because 
up for me, I really valued the college experience and I didn't want to take away from that while doing the program. And so I was at the time in my college career where I had already done my freshman year. I already found my community. I found my place on campus. I found my people. You know, I kind of was on track with my career. I knew what I wanted coming out of college. Um, and so I kind of had that wrapped up at the beginning. And then I knew that when I finished my college program, I had my entire senior year to enjoy the like, enjoy just the rest of my college experience. Um, enjoy finishing up, like experience all the nostalgia and the excitement of almost being done and just kind of wrap it up and then go off with life. So I really feel like doing your Disney college program either in your sophomore or your junior year is the best time to do it. Um, if you really want to do it your freshman year, then do what you want to do, you know? But that's just kind of my advice. But I definitely don't think by any means that applying your freshman year, your senior year, even as you graduate, is going to hinder you at all. They definitely take a big scope of people. So apply whenever you feel best ready. Um, also, it can't hurt to apply a bunch of times because I know a lot of people don't get in their first time. And so maybe for you, it'll take a long time. Maybe for you, you'll get on in the first time. So apply whenever you feel ready and if you feel ready right now then start applying early and see when you'll get in do you recommend bringing a car if you have the privilege of having a car i would say yes um yes i would i really enjoyed having my car when i was on my college program just because it allowed me more freedom it was just a lot more peaceful being on the program i didn't have to rely on the buses or the bus system to get to work i didn't have to rely on it to get to the parks or getting home late at night or doing groceries or anything like that um it's definitely doable without a car 100 percent. disney definitely makes it doable for you to do the program and enjoy the program to the fullest even if you don't have a car the bus system will take you to grocery stores. It'll take you to the mall even. It'll take you to Walmart. It'll take you to your work locations, to the parks, even on your days off. So it's definitely doable without a car, but it's definitely a luxury to have a car just because things can be done on your time and how you wanna do it. Um, but also like, I know that for some people, like just bringing a car is gonna be really expensive or it's not the safest um, if you're like coming from really far away maybe you have an older car or something like that so yeah but overall I just I really enjoyed having my car and it was definitely a privilege and I definitely feel so blessed to be able to have had my car thankfully I live in Florida so it really wasn't that hard um, but it was really nice having mine and obviously you can always make friends too who have a car and they can take you places too were there a lot of international Disney College program cast members yes there were um, I lived with six girls so I lived in Chatham Square and I had a two bedroom six person apartment and so in my bedroom there were three girls me and two other girls and then in the other bedroom there were actually when I first moved in there were three Italian college programmers and they worked in the Italian pavilion at Epcot and then um, towards the end of my college program we got three really wonderful girls um, one of them was from South Africa. She was so sweet. Um, and then the other two, oh man, I want to say one of them was from Germany. I can't remember where the I can't remember where the other one was from. Um, like they literally got there like my last the last week of my program. So I didn't really have a lot of time to get to know them, unfortunately. Also, I was able to meet a lot of the international college programmers because I worked at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and there we have Savannah Guides and they are international CPs from Africa and they teach about the different animals we have on our property. They teach about um, all sorts of different con conservation things. So that was really cool being able to learn a lot from them and get to know them and all that good stuff. All right, did you have time to go to the parks? Um, I did have time to go to the parks. I will say that I was really tired a lot of the time and I didn't really want to go to the parks at some times. Mind you, I feel like I was in a little bit of a different situation just because I am from Florida and not only from Florida but from central Florida and very very close to the parks. So when I got out of work, I really loved my job um, so I enjoyed being at my job and I definitely did the college program because I wanted to work for Disney in that kind of realm of the company before after college I want to be um, 
a professional intern with like corporate and social media and all that so while i want to do that i definitely wanted to experience working for the company in that capacity first and so that was really my main focus of the program was working for disney and just getting to know people um the parks was a wonderful perk and i'm i love the parks i love going to the parks but it definitely was not my priority and if i was tired from work i stayed home um it's really hard because there's a lot of pressure doing the program to do as much as you can in one time especially because it's so short but and like you want to hang out with your friends and all this and but like for me it was just really important just to stay sane really and it was I loved working and I wanted to be alive <laughs> when I was working and I loved doing YouTube and sometimes doing all this you just get really tired and so I definitely rested a lot and I did not go to the parks as much as I thought I was going to at all but you can go to the parks as much as you want to while you are on your program um, mind you for me I just really valued rest and eating and sleeping and saving money because I didn't um, if I did go to the parks I it's really tempting to buy snacks and get foods and all those yummy things um, and I also really wanted to save the money that I was making while I was on the program so I did have time to go to the parks to answer your question I had plenty of time it was how I chose to use that time that made me not go to the parks as often as I thought it was going to what was the toughest thing about your DCP I would say the toughest thing about my Disney college program was just that um it was like finding that balance between okay I have to go to work but I have friends that after this program I'm probably never gonna see again um except unless I like made a big trip because we all live in different states you know and then there's I should go the, to the parks and like I should hang out with my friends at the parks um but I should save money but also I should film a YouTube video but also I could get a really cute Instagram picture at the parks but also this but also that and I think there just comes a point where like there's a lot of expectations to just like be living like this dream life but honestly my dream life while I was on the program was to go to my job and then come home and just chill in my bed watching Netflix and then going to sleep and a lot of nights that's what it looked like and then some nights I would do a park day but park days are exhausting it's Florida the sun is hot and so I think the toughest thing was finding that balance and being okay with not doing everything you know I'm a very like go 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 kind of person so when I'm not doing it all I like it can be a little hard but I think that was the toughest thing was just finding that balance and being okay with saying no I don't really want to go today you know being okay with saying no and choosing a day to like make it about like resting is really important and it's definitely really important for those of you who come from out of state and I'm sure that already takes a toll on like your mental health as it is like traveling so far away from family being away from friends and obviously you make all these new friends but like make time for you and make time to make time to make sure you're okay and you're rested and you're healthy you know and so I think that was the toughest thing for me how important do you think it is to do the Disney college program if someone wants to do a Disney internship this is a really good question um I don't think it's that important um, I will say that there are a lot of interns for Disney who have never done a Disney college program and honestly when you're applying for a professional internship you're applying for something because of your professional experience you know and that's something that you have gotten a degree in or you're going to get a degree in and all of your internships prior to this all of your experiences prior to this are going to help you get that and ultimately this is like a job like and um, Disney professional internships are like a job like anything else and they want the most qualified individual you know so I don't think that not doing the Disney college program will ever hurt you when applying for a Disney professional internship but it will help you I'm sure you know like it won't hurt you but it'll help you you know they're never gonna say oh she never did a DCP she's not she's not good enough like no they're never gonna say that uh, but if you did do a DCP that is something that they're probably gonna look at you um, it's also just nice that you already know about the company and you already know about um, how that side of the company works especially think about like what kind of professional internship you're talking about here because if you're doing a professional internship that works at the resorts then it's probably gonna help if you did a CP in the resorts something like that you know so it definitely um, it's situational it can I but I think it can only help you I don't think it'll ever hurt you it can only help you did you write your job responsibilities in bullet points how many or paragraphs Ooh. um 
kind of did both. I, okay, I didn't do paragraphs. I did bullet points and like sentence fragments almost. If you want to know how I did it, I don't really have it written out, but if you go to my LinkedIn, I don't have that linked in the description. Um, I'll, I'll link it down there for this one. I will put my LinkedIn in the um, description of this video and that kind of has the way I've worded all of my experiences on my resume and it'll show you how I worded things for my Disney College program application. This is a really long video, but I like it because I'm getting a question, so hopefully you guys watch it. Um, what do y'all do at casting? What other info do, info do they ask you other than the I-9 forms? Um, really, casting is not that glamorous. I thought casting was going to be this super glamorous behind the scenes thing. Um, it's not. Um, traditions is, but casting is not. Casting, you really just do paperwork. Um, like hire on paperwork and all that stuff. You take your picture for your blue ID. If you're in children's activities, they're going to have you do fingerprints. Um, yeah, it's really not that glamorous at all. It's really just paperwork, picture, ID, fingerprints. Yeah. It's not not very much at all. I, I wish I could tell you more, but like when everyone says that it's really nothing, it, it's really nothing. Like they're not trying to be secretive. It's just actually really nothing at all. It is fun being in the casting building though. I will say that. It was just cool to look around. It was surreal. I felt like that was when it was real, you know? I've been talking for maybe like an hour now. <laughs> so I think I'm going to sign off, but I hope this answered all your questions and I hope you found some insight from all of this. Good luck applying for the program. I am so excited for you already. Um, I will be sending you all the prayers and pixie dust. Um, yeah, and just keep in mind, like, it all happens in its time. Um, be as prepared as you can be to make this dream come true, but don't be upset if it doesn't go out the way you thought it did because I promise. God's plans for us are so much better than anything we could ever make for ourselves. Promise, I have tons of stories that I could tell you of ways that is so true in my life. So definitely just like keep trusting, keep believing that like his plans for you are the best and ask me any questions you have. Like if you have more questions after this, if I didn't answer your question well enough, comment it down below and I will be sure to get to you and help you any way that I can. But I wish you guys all of the best luck on this journey and when applications come out, just know that I'm rooting for you and excited for you and this new journey that you're gonna go on because it's magical and it's fun and it's one you'll never forget. So yeah, thank you guys so much for asking me all these questions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.